Hi friends, welcome to Kraku's video series. I'm Saili Kale. I'm one of the co-founders of Kraku and an alumna of IIM Ahmedabad. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some difficult uh, questions from geometry. Uh, to crack geometry, it's very important that you put in consistent practice. So what we recommend is that uh, not only should you learn the formulae and you should know the concepts, but you should keep solving throughout your preparation. And the best uh, point of uh, starting your preparation is solving previous year's questions. So in this video series, we are trying to solve all the previous year's CAD geometry questions so that you have a very solid fundamental uh, fu fundamental idea of what is asked in geometry as well as you know exactly how to solve these kind of questions. So let's take a look at some questions that came in recent CAD papers. Take a look at the following uh, geometry question. A parallelogram ABCD has area 48 square centimeters. If the length of CD is 8 centimeters and that of AD is S centimeters, then which of the following is necessarily true? So let me draw this out first. I have in parallelogram A, B, C, D of this form and uh, C, D is 8 centimeters and A, D is S centimeters. So what is necessarily true? So you can join this angle uh, as such, uh, this uh, diagonal. I have been told that parallelogram A, B, C, D has area 48 centimeters square. So this must be half of 48, so this must be 24 centimeters square and this half should be 24 centimeters square because the diagonal uh, uh, divides the uh, parallelogram into two equal halves. So now consider this triangle ACD. One of its, uh, let this angle be D, uh, one of its side is SCM, the other side is 8CM and the included angle is angle D. So what can I say? Uh, the area is 24 centimeters square. So using the simple area formula, I can say that 24 centimeters square is equal to half into S into 8 into sin D. So based on this, I can see that uh, this is half into 8 into sin D. So this is 48 by, so this is S sin D is equal to 6. Now I know that sin D is less than or equal to 1 because the max value of sin of any angle is 1 when uh, that angle is equal to 90 degrees or a multiple of uh, uh, even multiple of 90 degrees as such. Uh, or like nine, uh, at sine of 90 is 1 and that is the max value that sine can take. So since sine of d is less than or equal to 1 then s of sine d and s of sine d is equal to 6 that means s must be greater than or equal to 6 for the product to be equal to 6. Therefore, I can infer that S is greater than or equal to 6. So the right answer is option B. Now let's take a look at another question from uh, uh, quadrilaterals. The area of a rectangle and the square of its perimeter and the ratio 1 is to 25. Then the lengths of the shorter and longer sides of the rectangle are in the ratio. So let's first uh, try to figure out the rectangle. Let's say one of the longer side is say uh, A and uh, the shorter side is B. So I am saying that A is greater than B. The area of the rectangle, what would be the area? Area would be A into B. And what would be the perimeter? Perimeter A would be 2 times A plus B. So I am told that uh, area by uh, area of rectangle by square, square of perimeter and the ratio. So P square is equal to 1 by 25. So AB divided by 2 into a plus b, the whole square is equal to 1 by 25. So I can say that 25 ab is equal to 4 a square plus b square plus a, 2 ab. So I can solve this and I get 4 a square plus 4 b square. Uh, I get 8 AB over here, if I remove, uh, I put, take the minus 25 AB on the other side, I get minus 17 AB is equal to 0. So 4A square minus 17 AB plus 4B square is equal to uh, 0. So the product should be 4, uh, 16 A square B square and this should be minus, uh, sum should be minus 17. So I can put this as 4A square minus 16 AB minus AB plus 4B square equal to 0. So if I factorize, I get 4A times A minus 4B minus 8B times 
uh, a minus 4b. This is equal to 0. So, 4a minus b into a minus 4b is equal to 0. So, 4a is equal to b or a is equal to 4b. Now, I know that uh, I have assumed a is the longer side. So, a, 4a must not be equal to b, a must be equal to 4b. Therefore, the lengths of the uh, shorter and the longer triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 4. So, the ratio of b is to a would be 1 is to 4. So, the right answer is option A. So, as you could see this required us fundamental knowledge of what is the area formula, what is the perimeter formula and then we just basically got a quadratic equation that we had to factorize. Uh, these questions are on the easier side, all they required, uh, uh, all that is required of you is uh, knowing the basic formulas and practice. So, please keep practicing, please solve uh, more questions from geometry. We have a lot of questions from all topics uh, segregated by topic so that uh, you can easily practice on a particular topic and develop your proficiency in it. So, please visit Krakow study room to practice questions from our uh, question bank and uh, keep uh, also solving questions from previous years papers because it is an important way to build up your uh, uh, build up strength uh, in geometry as such. It is very, very important that you keep solving questions to do well in geometry. This is one of those topics that responds very well to consistent practice. So, please, please solve, uh, start solving from today. Thank you for tuning in.